అందరికి నమస్కారం తమిళనాడు మాజీ ముఖ్యమంత్రి జయలలిత గారు మనందరికి ఒక గొప్ప నటిగా ది బెస్ట్ పొలిటికల్ లీడర్ గా సుపరిచితం ఆవిడ లైఫ్ స్టోరీని అతి త్వరలో మనమంతా వెండి తెర పైన చూడబోతున్నాం అభిమానులంతా ఎంతగానో ఇష్టంగా పిలుచుకునేటువంటి తలైవి అనే టైటిల్తో ఈ సినిమా సెప్టెంబర్ టెన్త్ న ఎపిక్ బయోపిక్ గా మనందరి ముందుకి రాబోతుంది మరి జయలలిత గారి క్యారెక్టర్ అంటే ఒక చాలా చాలా పవర్ఫుల్ అండ్ డైనమిక్ రోల్ని ప్లే చేయాలి అని అంటే అది ఈవిడకి మాత్రమే సాధ్యం అని చెప్పాలి టుడే వీ హ్యావ్ విత్ అస్ ద వెరీ బోల్డ్ సెల్ఫ్ మేడ్ ఫోర్ టైమ్ నేషనల్ అవార్డి ద క్వీన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియన్ సినిమా ద వన్ అండ్ ఓన్లీ పద్మశ్రీ కంగనా రనౌత్ విత్ అస్ హలో కంగనా థ్యాంక్ యూ సో మచ్ ఫర్ లవ్లీ ఇంట్రొడక్షన్ very very uh, happy to have you with us today and welcome to hyderabad thank you very much i know and i'm sure like over the last few days you are very very busy with uh, talaivi promotions along with your team so how's it going with you it feels like a dream now actually earlier even if we hated the promotional part and cribbed about you know being able, because we are actors and then we suddenly become sales person trying to tell this product is good buy it you know like that so earlier there were some kind of uh, you know reluctance we always had but uh, with the pandemic mm. and how you know we have all been caged in our houses and no scope of going out and industry was most affected most affected so it feels like a blessing to be able to see people <laughs> to begin with you know to be able to meet media people interactions i'm enjoying myself a lot let me tell you that and uh, even for me to have a release when um, sec- first wave hit us it was bad but not as bad as the second wave and in second wave so many people we know were getting uh, affected and i myself was affected i i uh, had uh, i was down with covid and at that time movies were nobody's priority and uh, now that it seems that we are on the road of recovery and things look up again it feels wonderful yeah so people are basically shifting towards ott and now this is a theatrical release yes. so everybody is very excited uh, for the theatrical experience kangana yes. it's not easy to make a film for the theaters you know it, it it takes a lot of budget to begin with and a different kind of drama uh, in the writing and in, in in everything all aspects come together background score and everything Uh, so it's not every day happening that a theatrical viewing film comes up and with talaivi uh, we have that opportunity and we are more than happy to i mean the the credit goes to producers our producer shri vishnu induri ji and salesh singh ji um, it is it is their grit and you know they were very sure about the fact that they want to bring it to theaters um watching ott is good but when a f- film is meant for theaters and it will come on ott of course that has become mandatory now all films go uh, but at least there is an option to watch it even in theaters yes and talaivi is now coming out in different languages yes uh, we've seen you promoting film in tamil nadu yesterday so how is the response there superb i saw the film and uh, i think it's incredible and the kind of uh, feedback we got from people um uh, people came up to me and said that thank you for playing our leader so beautifully and uh, um it was a very emotional moment for me when i saw uh, that you know they there is a validation for what i have done and they liked it very much so i'm uh, for me this is the biggest award i can get as a performer brilliant so let's talk about talaivi now so can you please tell us how did this journey start this journey started because of vijendra prasad garu oh he the writer is, of this yes, film <laughs> writer of the film and he was writing this film the live and uh, he came to me and he said that he got producer vishnu ji also mm-hmm. to me mm-hmm. and it's like we are we want you for the live and at the time i felt oh my god that is such a wrong casting um for for many reasons and the first reason was that um, you know i was not familiar with anything to do with tamil nadu mm-hmm. you know i come from extreme north and even being in north i was not a person who grew up on movies to begin with right. and south movies though there is no way mm-hmm. i had very limited understanding of politics and 
and uh, that whole South, South Indian, Indian politics yeah. is absolutely, you know, different world for me, and um, and very complex. It's not a. It's a very volatile political territory, isn't it? It's yes. not some territory where just politics happening, like yeah. Himachal Pradesh. Yeah. You know, we not something settled. No, it's mm -hmm. very volatile, very, yeah, yeah. very dramatic. Yes. So I'm like, how will I fit into it? Another obstacle was that they were tapping into Jemma's journey from when she was 16 to 42. Mm -hmm. And I was already when, you know, but I was 32 when mm -hmm. they came to me. Mm -hmm. And I thought how, and a significant part of the film is in Jemma's, you know, teens and 20s. And if I go to gain weight, with weight it will add more age. Right. And how do I justify the it younger glam part? Glamour industry. And how do I justify uh, the older part? Yeah. If you see other female politicians, maybe not as successful as Jayama, but there are still many actresses who has been to, you know, um, politics. They don't look so drastically different, yeah. you know. But Jayama looked drastically different when she became a CM and when she did her first film. Yeah. I had to do that in one film. So I thought it was, I won't be able to do it. But then they convinced me, and it's mostly because of Vijendra sir, mm -hmm. I'm doing this film. Wow, fantastic. <laughs> All thanks to Vijendra Prasad Garu, <laughs> Raj Mauli Gari, father, a cinema ki writer ga onnaru, and I know writing slochina Bahubali, and no Adbuto in a Chitral Mananjusam, uh, idi Inkoka epic movie ga Manamundu Krabutundi. Fantastic. So when did you believe that you'll fit into JMA's role, uh, Kangana, during this entire process? It was very, very difficult for me to visualize, to be able to do it. At this stage in my career, I have only to lose and very little to gain, mm -hmm. you know, as a performer. After winning four national awards, I have everything to only lose. So I was thinking what this film will, should not be, be, a, be a casting disaster. And if I'm not able to pull off, yeah. then everybody will say, you know, look, she doesn't have it anymore. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather not do anything and live like a great actress forever <laughs> than to, you know, do right. um, uh, disasters. Right. So I was very confused and conflicted and Vijendra Garu was like, you are doing it and nobody else doing it. And also he was telling me that another, another th Vijendra Garu was not taking no for an answer. Mm -hmm. You know, he's also a father figure to me and um, I, I get absolutely, you know, for whatever he does for me, he has now written so many films for me. Manikarnika, he has written Ayodhya, he has written uh, Jaya, he has written another film that I'm doing, Sita, he has written. There is another film that I'm doing, Emergency, even he's working on that. So he's like a, a person in my life who is, who means a lot to me. Yeah. So he's telling me that I also have to dub my own <laughs> Tamil <laughs> version. version. And I'm like, this is too much. I am not able to, you know, like manage the acting Did part. Did you do that? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Of course, I was watching the film, yes, last night and I'm like, Vijendra says, like, I asked you to do that one thing and you didn't, you know, but I was stressing over so much and to learn a language called Tamil, yeah. which my uh, director himself, he's so demanding mm. when it comes to uh, the language that when he had to dub my voice, he did not find anybody good enough oh. with her Tamil. In Tamil Nadu, she, he found a girl in uh, Hyderabad. Oh. <laughs> He's like, she doesn't have crisp Tamil. I said, they want me to dub. He will, you know, he will not okay any take of mine, even if I speak. Okay. Even though I learnt it for the dialogues, but I didn't have the accent right. Maybe they want to bring out all the talents out of Kangana. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, they did bring out most of it. Uh, but I tell you, when I got convinced, mm. I was in very conflicted mm -hmm. uh, and having sleepless nights about it. So when I met Vijay, Vijay sir, mm. because Vijendra Garu and uh, Vishnu Garu, they come from Hyderabad mm. and I am from Mumbai, yeah. basically Himachal Pradesh. Mm. And we, three people thinking something, you know, on our own, trying to make a biopic on, uh, you know, Jayama. We can think whatever we want to think, right? Yeah. But somebody who has maximum to lose, mm. So is Vijay sir, he's a very renowned director mm -hmm. and uh, when I read about him and he came to meet me and he said that you are the best casting for the film. That wow. is the time I started to feel that, you know, he has so many people are going to catch him there, you know, the people are, the audience are very sensitive yes. in Tamil Nadu, they'll, you know, get offended 
they can bring the film down. Yeah, absolutely. Especially language. Yes. When it comes to the pronunciations, they are yes. very, very particular. Very particular about the language and the portrayal of Jayama. She has a cult fan following. You know, they are not going to tolerate anything. So I asked him. I said, "Are you sure?" He's like, "I am 100% sure." That's when I started to get some confidence, mm -hmm. and I felt maybe this is the right decision. When did you first hear about uh, Jayalalitha Garu Kangana? Like first time? I, am, I must have been a child. Okay. We used to see a lot of news, mm -hmm. and Jayama has always been in news, mm -hmm. even in national news. Yeah. Very frequent, mm -hmm. very often. She used to be on television. Uh, like I said, it's a very volatile state. Yeah. The politics has always been uh, a matter of discussion for whole country. Right. So around that time, I was in school. Okay, while you were actually working for Talaivi, did you connect yourself anywhere with Jailalita Garu? Any of her qualities? All the time. I think every day I felt uh, connected to her. And uh, it's, not, it's not possible only to depict a role with not, without being connected to that person. So uh, for me, this, is, uh, this was a beautiful journey of a, of a woman. I got to know so much. So, so much about her life and and you know um, and I'm also a girl and I'm also in a field where I'm tested all the time yes to my limits it feels great that there have been women before us also who have struggled and who have risen and who have uh, like you know been phoenix and who have achieved so much even though suffered a lot um, it made me feel so proud of even my own journey. Uh, so, yes. Kangna, we all know that uh, you love challenges in your life and especially uh, getting into her skin is very difficult, like putting on 20 kilos, which is unbelievable. Mm. Tell us about the transformation and especially being in the glamour industry, it's really tough to come back again and to move on to the next projects. Yeah. No, that is why I didn't want to take it up. I was very reluctant and it put me in a dharam sankat mm. because Vijayendra sir never asked me for anything. Mm. And when he said, I said, how will I gain 20 kgs at this age? You know, I'm 32 and in 30s it's very difficult to lose weight. And uh, how do we know where all weight is going to come? Weight will not listen to us. You know, yes. We want a voluptuous body. Yeah. but. The weight, weight will you, come you, yeah. wherever it comes, you know, what if it doesn't come in the right places, yeah. then what do I do and how will I look but to begin with because I have never been chubby. So will I even look good being chubby was also my concern and uh, there were many concerns that I had. But the thing about me is that if I have to do something then I do it properly. Mm. Then there is no, once I've decided and I've, I've taken that decision then there is no if or but, then mm. I will go all the way yeah. to it, with it. And I did, and uh, by the grace of God, my, my face which is very angular, I have strong jaw mm. line and you know, uh, and, and Jayama had very round face. I, I got exactly the same round face. Yeah, we could an, see that in the trailer. Yeah, to, to an extent that some of the recreations that we did, it is so uncanny that I look exactly like Jayama. Last night I was getting goosebumps. Uh, so, it's God's grace also. So, it's once again proved, hence proved that nothing is impossible to Kangana. Yeah. <laughs> we are so happy about, uh, you know, listening to that entire story. So, tell us, uh, what did you enjoy doing the most? The actress side of uh, Jayama or the political side of Jayama? Definitely the political. <laughs> Her acting career was, my God, too dynamic. Yeah, is the word. I think I think uh, she did 140 films in 19 years. <coughs> that apart, mm -hmm. her style of acting and yeah. my style of acting, she was a terrific dancer. If you have to draw a comparison, say somebody like Vaijanti Malaji mm -hmm. or somebody like Madhuri Dixit ji in a different form. Madhuri Dixit is more Kathak, she was more Bhatnatyam and Hema Malini ji, yeah. like that, you know. And my, I am a result of parallel cinema. Right. People compare me to say, like in my first film, I was compared to Samita Patilji, mm. Shabana Azmi ji, you know, like that. Yeah. So, those dances, to learn dances, yeah. um, so many of, you know, and she was so graceful. She was a professional dancer. Mm -hmm. And I, anyway, have two left feet in the name of mm -hmm. dancing. Mm -hmm. So, that also became a very big challenge for me. Okay. 
um, all those things had to, so whenever we had to shoot for film portions, it will be very hectic for me. Yeah. But politics portion rallies mm -hmm. and uh, speeches and having a very emotionally high intensity scenes, they come easily to me. Okay, fantastic. So, we have also seen uh, Arvind Swamigaru and also Samutra Kanigaru in the trailer who are, uh, you know, very popular, pretty popular here in Telugu with their previous works. So, can you please tell us about the working experience with both these actors? They are fabulous and in fact everyone, they made me feel so good about being on the sets and working together. Arvind sir is such a courteous gentleman, you know, and uh, always so, um, so friendly right. and at the same time, he helps you in your process. He's not somebody who, um, you know, takes too much time to bring something out on screen. He's very spontaneous mm -hmm. and uh, I don't remember uh, doing too many takes for anything and that's how I am actually. We would just go simply do one and then something Vijay sir will cor correct an other one and we both be done. Is Re it because like you don't like uh, taking num I mean, too many takes or like uh, how will it go? I don't know. I don't <laughs> want to brag about myself but it just somehow it only takes one or two takes. Two takes. Okay. So even with the Arvind sir, same one or two. Otherwise what happens is with sometimes you do your acha take, you know, once okay. or two. Other person is doing five, five, six, six takes. So by the time you burn out. Yeah. You know, right. so with me, uh, we had such good tuning. He will come, he'll do one take, let's go. <laughs> That's how I am. Let's go, <laughs> one take and done. So, I'm sure work <laughs> must be super fun for you then. Yes, and Vijay sir is such a kind hearted person. I've never met unbelievably genuine person mm -hmm. in my life. So, him being around, Bhagya ma'am being around, um, Samudra Khani sir. Mm -hmm. All, all the people who have been around, like Madhu Balaji, been fabulous. Fantastic. So now we have a quick rapid fire round for you. I'm not going to ask you anything controversial, but something interesting for sure. So uh, let's start uh, with the rapid fire now. Okay. So Kangana, if you have to describe yourself in three words, what would you say? I have to describe... Oh... Uh, Bold, beautiful. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> fine then. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my version of uh, saying it, but anything that you want to say. What's Kangana that we don't know? You don't know? Yeah, something that we don't know. Oh God, this is such a tricky question. How do I now say, wh how, what do I... I think I, if one word I have to say, courageous, brave. Right. <laughs> I see myself as somebody who is very brave. Fantastic. Perfect answer. If a movie was made of your life, which genre would it be? Coming of age. Wow. Interesting. One person you admire the most? Admire the most? Yes. I think Sadhguruji. Very nice. What have you done that you are most proud about? something that you're most proud about in your entire life? I showed my parents Manikarnika at President House and they were so excited. They were so excited. I think it meant so much to them because they come from that background, you know, where, where all those things mean a lot to them. No amount of premieres or events, nothing. But when they were at the President House, my mama was crying and my father was so happy as if like, I think that was the day they felt I've made it. Types. That's more than any award for you, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. What's your favorite hobby or pastime? I'm a lazy person. <laughs> I actually am in extremes. I work in extremes. Will not believe that. Are you a lazy person? I work in extremes. When I work, I work. Yeah. Like a maniac. And when I don't work, I simply don't move a muscle. Oh. I lie down. Okay. I have in my living room, there's a day bed, <laughs> you know, so I, I'm mostly found there when I'm home <laughs> and, and if I, if I get up, I get up to, to have tea or something and again lie down and do, 
and make a lot of phone calls oh. to people and to chat and uh, just do stuff like that. Okay. So, what is the most interesting thing that you have in your wallet? In my wallet? Yeah. Could, I think it's a Rudraksha or something. Okay. Mm. Nice. What's the one thing that annoys you the most? There are many things. <laughs> That I get easily irritated. My, I am quite mercurial. I go high and down like almost in microsecond, <laughs> like that. Um, but one thing that irritates me is uh, is I think people just kind of misleading you into believe something, which happens a lot. You know, trying to tell you what you should do with your life and how you should be, how you should think, how you should talk and you know like there are all kind of advices you get. But the worst of them are when people you know expect you to behave the, the way they would like to see you, right? Yeah. Yeah, so I, I hate that kind of conversation. Give, me a, give me a virtual five from there. <laughs> That's yeah. perfect. Yeah. That's so true. Like I'm doing so well without your advice, I, I don't even need it. But yet there will be so much coming your way yeah. without even wanting it and without even ever using it. Still there will be, some of it is of course out of concern and all that. But I mean I don't need it, it's alright. Yeah. I can do without it. <laughs> True. So on a scale uh, of like 1 to 10, how cool are you? I'm hot. I am hot and in hotness I give myself one 10 on 10, in coolness no, <laughs> in, in maybe negative. Maybe 5 at times. In negative. <laughs> <laughs> What's the weirdest nickname you have been given? Weirdest nickname? Yeah. I don't like the sound of Kang. Yeah. Some people call me Kang. You know yeah. I don't like it, I don't accept it, I don't even respond to it. Oh. Okay, accept it. <laughs> what scares you the most? Scares me? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, there are fears are on many levels, psychological level, mm -hmm. emotional level, physical level. On physical level, I can be easily, you know, scared of a, of a lizard falling in my lap or something. Okay. Like it will make okay. me scream or do things like that. On emotional level, there isn't much as, you know, I mean, I'm quite emotionally and mentally strong. Okay. But, uh, uh, but still, there, everybody has a breaking point. I, I too have. Right. But I think it is above ordinary or average right. breaking point. True. All right. So what is success according to you? Success according to me is, is to is to be able to have a good night's sleep and to be able to have you know your meals with feeling good about yourself yeah that's success and it doesn't come with with worldly you know those tick marks and that you do it just it's a it's a decision that you've got to make at some point in life wherever you feel like and it's a decision that one has to make every day so you that should is be happy with yourself is is a success definition according to you? Yeah, no, it, it, you have to decide that my success is not what my people around me are doing. It mm -hmm. can't be relative, right? Yeah. You can't decide based on what others are doing whether you are successful or not. Right. You know, today maybe you want, the, you, you got this model of Merck, but other one got a higher model. That doesn't mean you have failed as a person, you know, or maybe somebody who's not able to afford as much as you, mm -hmm. that should not make you feel successful because look around you, nobody is as good as you. Somebody's misery and somebody's victory mustn't decide your place in the world. Right. You should decide your place in the world depending on what you want and the only criteria of seeing that is that we, you know, we're able to have good sleep in the night and we're able to eat happily that's the only way to see if you are a successful person or not wow, how true <laughs> yes mm -hmm. if you get you know if you get anxiety in your sleep and if you if you eating but you're not able to digest it's no use true so dance or stunts if i ask you to choose one what would you choose kangra any day stunts <laughs> any i love stunts i love action and mm -hmm. and while doing dhakar i realized that how much i love 
punching, kicking, and beating people. <laughs> <laughs> I was having the. I time. love that answer. <laughs> I was having the time of my life. <laughs> I was so happy. I hate night shifts. Even then, I I never give any producer of my night shifts to mm -hmm. work in. You know, they do always the day for night. But I gave them. I was doing action in the nights, and I just love it. But dancing is just not my thing. Okay. So if I ask you to say one word about social media, what would you say? One word. Yeah. <laughs> that about social media. <laughs> Empowering. Empowering. Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's talk about uh, one final thing that's G V Prakash's music in this film. So what is your favorite number in this film, Karna? Uh, the the music is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Are you a singer too? No, by any chance? <laughs> no, <laughs> I am not. And thank God, Vijayendra Prasad sir didn't ask her to sing. <laughs> then Kangana was really risk. thank you. <laughs> don't want to take this risk. Okay, but I I really hope Vijayendra sir never makes, uh, never writes Lata Mangeshkar ji's biopic, <laughs> <laughs> and he'll make you sing. Oh God. But you've got a fantastic voice. I no. think you should try <laughs> at least one What's song. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm joking. I am not a patch on Lata ji, and I don't even, you know, kind of um, <laughs> deserve to be in such a legends this thing. But I am just joking for the humor of it. Um, G V sir is incredible, and the way what he has brought to the table is amazing, and you will see it in the film. My uh, Nan Bande Nan said is my favorite song. Mm. Uh, the 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 sheer feminine quality to it is beautiful. All right. So now that you're here in Hyderabad, what would you like to tell the Telugu audience? What's your recent watch? Uh, do you watch Tollywood films, Kangana? By any chance? I do. Uh huh. But recently, I've not seen any films. What is that audience can expect out of Thalaivi? And one thing that you want to tell the Telugu audience about Thalaivi? Finally. I think Thalaivi is a film which is. An entertainer, complete entertainer, a theatre, a theatre-going experience, beautiful, um, epic period, drama, and above everything, I don't think uh, we have seen a film where such versatile worlds of cinema and politics come together in one single film, mm -hmm. and so beautifully blend into each other. From cinema, the film moves into politics. So this is the biggest USP. Of this film, please do watch it. All right, Kangana, thank you so much uh, you. for your time. Thank it's you. a pleasure meeting you today and talking about Thalaivi. Mm -hmm. All the very best for the release, and hope you get a blockbuster hit this thank year. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you.